Right, so the first video was getting the Nandex wires installed on a, uh, a fat board, which would be a Falcon or a Jasper, an Opus, Zephyr, etc, etc. So this one is for a Trinity board in particular. Um, until I get hold of a Corona board, I'm not going to bother because it most likely is going to need some sort of SD tool. Um, so again, you're just going to need your standard wires, same same one as before, so you've got your, your coloured cables, um, again you might not have these little cool attachment bits on the end, you might just have your standard, um, your, just your standard exposed wire, either one is fine and either one will work. Um, so the points you're going to be working with are these ones right here, and there's going to be two on this slot here. Um, it's just up from the South Bridge, or oh, I forget, I think it might be the South Bridge, I can't remember. Um, pointing it as if you're looking at the board face down, it's to the left. So literally all you're going to need again is your iron. Um, I've got mine on 405 degrees. Some people think that's too hot, but I think a lot of the time it all depends on the, um, the actual iron you're using and the quality of that iron. Um, my previous iron I had was a cheap eBay jobby, which was utter crap, and I would have it at like 360, I think, or 380, and it would burn points pretty much instantly. So, um, the first slots that we're going to be doing are these ones down here. Um, I like to start off doing um, the brown and black first. So, we're going to start off with your brown. Um, what we are going to do actually before we do that, I would just quickly go over these points and uh, just tin them up a bit. There we go. You only really need to tin the ones that you're going to be doing, so in theory it's going to be these five. So again, same as last time, iron on and then I feed the solder into the iron. Um, these might take a little bit of time to get the actual solder on because they've most likely got some sort of, um, they usually put like a, a coating on top of the solder. Uh, you can use like a, a sharp object like a, a blade or um, sometimes you can even just lightly rub with the top of your iron. Um, I usually don't recommend that because it can actually damage the iron that you're using. Um, and while we're here, the other ones you want to be doing is one, two, three down. So there's that one there, just get that all. Looking good. Oh. My flux on that one, I don't think. And again, same as last time. If you if you have got flux, please use it. If you don't have flux, go buy some. And if you can't get some, you're fine without it. But if it's your first time, I really do recommend you using flux because it can help a lot and just make the solar points neater. Um, things are sort of attached to the the points a bit cleaner as well. So same as last time. You're just going to get to the point. Touch your iron on the point feed your wire in, and for some reason that's joined up too, there we go, that's one, and the black just goes right next to it, and two, so there we go, we've got two connections on there, um, and then I usually go red next, which is the one just below it, Oh, let's try that again, there we go. Oh, there's not enough flux on this one, I don't think. There we go. And then you want to do your orange, which goes next to the red. So this point right there. Obviously, I would recommend you try and make your points a bit straighter, but for the sake of the video, I am kind of just uh, bending them out of shape a bit, just so they look. you can see the wire itself. And again, um, this is fairly standard with a lot of this. So your yellow wire is your ground wire. So what you can actually do is use one of these, um, these little tab bits here. You can actually uh, just literally just feed the solder on uh, like so and use that as a ground. Um, and this I'm not going to because I, I just think it's nice, nicer and neater to just use the point itself um, and it's not too hard to actually do either. So you're just going to do the same as normal, tap, tap and feed and then they're all wired in. Obviously if you can get these sort of upright straighter but just for the sake of the video I'm just showing it to you like this. 
um, and then the next ones you want to do are your green and your blue. So I do the green furthest away first. So you're just going to tap and hold. That's nice in there already. And then the one just below that is the blue one. So you're just going to tap, hold, and there we go. So that's the the wiring install. Um, obviously, I'll pop the I'll pop the picture of the wiring diagram at the beginning of the video, and I'll also pop a link to it in the description, uh, just so you, you can have something to refer to if, if the video is a little bit too complicated. Um, but this is probably the, the easier part of it when you actually get around to installing the chip. It's it's it's, it's a piece of piss as well. Um, I can't do one at the moment. This is another dead board which I'm using as a donation um, to get these videos done um, but I should have some elites coming in so that I can do some um, cool runner and matrix installs um, fairly much the same it's just the way that the wires are used and sometimes the wiring can be slightly different in terms of the way you route it um, but apart from that it's, it's as simple as that just get those installed and then you just plug that into J runner as you would with your Nandex or JR programmer and you're ready to go